Hello everyone. Today we have a geometry question and again it is a Pascal question. We'll be looking into the Pythagoras theorem and a few property of a circle. So this is the question that we have let ABCD be a rectangle inscribed in a circle of radius 13 cm which one of the following pairs can represent in centimeters the possible length and breadth of ABCD. So you guys are very familiar with a rectangle. A rectangle looks like this. It has length and breadth and all the internal angles of a rectangle are at 90 degree. So when we talk about right angle triangle in that we have a theorem. This is 90 degree angle over here. So if this side is A, this is B, this is C, A is called the height, B is called the base, C is called the hypotenuse square. So hypotenuse square will be equal to the sum of squares of height and base. This is the Pythagoras theorem. So here first of all I need a circle. So let this be that circle. We were given that the radius of that circle is 13 centimeters. So this will be 13. So how can I apply the Pythagoras theorem in a rectangle if I join these points? I make a diagonal in the rectangle then I can say that this will be the length this will be the breadth and length square plus breadth square will be equal to this diagonal square so in the question we have been asked the possible length and breadth so these are the length and breadth given to us in the options now how can you inscribe a rectangle in a circle for example this is a circle so you can inscribe the rectangle like this right so this will be the length of the rectangle, this will be the breadth of the rectangle and this will be the diagonal. And this angle is always 90 degree. There is a theorem in circles which says that the angle in a semicircle is 90 degree which means that if you draw a circle like this and then if you draw this diameter over here and if you form an angle anywhere on the circle like this, you can form an angle over here, you can also form an angle over here all the angles that you will form on the boundary by taking diameter as the hypotenuse these all angles will be 90 degree so this is the theorem that we'll apply over here i'll inscribe a rectangle like this in this circle now what is the meaning of inscribe over here inscribe means all the points of the rectangle should be on the circle so i will draw the diameter here first if i want to include a rectangle i'll form a 90 degree here and then I can draw the other half of the rectangle. So this will be the rectangle that I have inscribed in the circle. So now the diameter will be 13 plus 13 2 times radius which gives us 26. That means length square plus breadth square should be equal to 26 square. So length square plus breadth square should be 26 square is 676. Now there is only one option that satisfies this equation which is option A. 24 square plus 10 square gives us 676. Option A will be the correct answer. So that is how you have to solve this question. Draw a circle, inscribe a rectangle like this. Diagonal of uh, this rectangle will be the diameter of the circle. As soon as you draw the diameter, you can see that the angle in the semicircle is 90 degree. Then you can apply the Pythagoras theorem and hence we have the answer. And let me tell you from today onwards, we'll be having a series of geometry questions every day. So whatever questions, whatever theorems are being discussed in these questions, try to remember them. Since geometry is a very vast topic, you need a lot of practice and there are a lot of theorems that you can only remember after you practice a lot. So please follow this initiative question of the day and if you have any doubt that you encounter from this, you can comment. Thank you.